This is the Giant Contend SL 2017. Just just saw it the other day. I was in Adelaide for a couple of days. So quick review video. It looks pretty good setup. Very giant spec. Giant spec. And this that's a little hammerhead chuck. That's a little reservoir for the hydro. Uh, standard 5800 brakes and alloy bar. It looks like a good angle. Fork. You can run a. Looks like you reckon, but maybe run a rack on there or a fender. Maybe a little lightweight rack, potentially. I have to do some more homework on that one, but the clearance looks pretty good on that one. I like to see that. Good clearance. And uh, this is interesting, isn't it? It's got like a little oil reservoir for the uh, hydro cable brakes. So they felt pretty snazzy. This is going to zoom out in a sec, but this this seat looked pretty interesting as well. So it's spec of a quite of a, a racy sort of saddle. It looks pretty comfy. Uh, carbon post. I think it's the defuse seat post. It allows a bit of uh, flex there for a bit of comfort. Um, it is a very nicely finished frame. Very nicely finished frame. So these seem to be taking over the alloy defy series. So which is essentially a uh, endurance road geometry bike, a bit more upright, a bit more relaxed for epic stuff for commuting. But you can still you know do some racing if you wanted to. But adventure riding really is where it's at and this bike would handle it no worries said he took a set stock uh, with that long cage and that b-screw so around it. I reckon you could probably put a bigger cassette there if you wanted to definitely even maybe without a road link but if you want to put a 40 in the back you can do that with a road link no worries short cage or long cage 11 speed Shimano work fine with that oh she's there it's been a bit of time to know about a 5034 compact 5800 105 Shifters, they work great. They work really, 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 really good. The frame, like, good quality. Lifetime warranty on the welds, etc. So that is a little contender, a little quick uh, first peek. And uh, definitely on the list in my buyer's bike guide. If you haven't got a copy of that, I'd recommend get a copy. Learn all the tips. Thanks for watching.